Hey everyone, it's the Simplistic Rich here today, and today I'm going to be doing a book review on Eclectic Wicca by Mandy C. And um, to first start off with, I'm a big fan of Mandy C's videos on YouTube. I've been watching her since the very beginning of my path, so I have tons of respect for her and I still watch her to this day. And um, so when I knew she came out with the book, I knew I had to pick this book up because, and honestly, look at this odd book on this book. I am obsessed with this off book on this book. I love how it shows all of the four um elements besides um spirit. But um and this is the uh, back of the book. I really like the illustrations of this book as well. And I'll give you a little sneak peek of the illustrations. As much as I can show you. And um when I first saw the illustrations I really saw that they were kind of childish but um once I started flipping through them I thought they were very they weren't childish but they were useful. You know, they were very useful and I really like the color theme. The color theme of the illustrations are green, purple and not green, pink and blue. And a little bit of purple's hand though. And but the first thing I noticed about this book was um the, the table of contents. It's not normal like the uh, most table of contents are. It's, it looks rather small to the to the person who is first viewing the book. But um, the thing is, each of, each of the... The book is sectioned off in different parts. So once you go to part one, it gives you another table of contents. And it shows you everything that will be within that part one. Like that. Which I found very interesting. Um, I didn't really like that too much. I would rather have the table of contents, like everything in the book, would to be on one table of contents. So it would have been easier to reference everything in case I wanted to come back to the book and um, reference something. But, um, you know, it's whatever. I really like the book, though. Um, I would definitely recommend this book to the um, beginner if you are a collector Wiccan or even just a Wiccan. Um, I think, you know, this is not only for collector Wiccans. I feel like a lot of um, traditional Wiccans can um, appreciate this book as well. But, um, you know, obviously this book is directed towards the collector Wiccans. Um, but I would definitely recommend this as a beginner book. And um, if I would have to give this book a 1 to 5 stars rating, I would give this book a good... Uh, Four stars because is this book the best um, beginner book? No, this there is a few things that's missing hand though, but mostly everything that you want to know about Wicca and um, you know eclectic Wicca and how to go about you know doing your practice and different things you can do. Um, this book is really good. It's a very good you know it's exactly what the, the cover says. It's a guide for the modern witch, and I really 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 like that. One of the things I liked about the most about this book is it talks a lot about the rules and guidelines of um, a Wiccan, like the 13 principles of belief in the Wiccan read, and what else did it go over that I really liked? Hmm. And another thing I really liked about the book was it talks a lot about how, um, different ways you can raise your frequency and different ways you can ground yourself, which I think is very important, and some books leave that out some of the time. Now, something I do want to talk about is, um, is this book very similar to a lot of Llewellyn books, like, um, Scott Cunningham? Yeah, it's very much structured the same, but there is a lot of unique information that you're going to get from this book that you won't get from other books. And, plus, if you're a fan of Mandy C, like I am, I, I really like the book because you can really hear her voice when you read this book. You can really, you can really hear her voice, you know what I mean? You can really hear her personality and really, really get a sense of her, you know? So if you're somebody who watched those videos, you're very going, you're very much going to enjoy this book. I think so, anyways. But also keep in mind, I have only read two Llewellyn books at this very moment. Actually, I have four Llewellyn books, but I've only read two of them. Um, by uh, Scott Cunningham, the Solitary Practitioner in Living Wicca. I have also have the um Encyclopedia for Herbs, and I have the Encyclopedia for Crystals. But I haven't read the Encyclopedias yet. I just use them for references to. Uh, Reference for herbs and crystals and all that type of stuff. So I haven't read too many Llewellyn books, but the, um, the, those are the two I have read so far. But um, I think there's plenty of unique information that is to be said about this book. Like um, it talks a lot about drawing down the moon and drawing down the sun, and it talks a lot about dream work. And something it also talks a lot about is um, connecting with your gods and God, which it does talk. Which in um, Llewellyn books it does talk about connecting with your gods and God. But um, I really like how um. I really liked how she put it into words, connecting with the gods and God. So I think um, if you are somebody who have read Llewellyn books in the past, I think, you know, 
Is this very similar to Ellen Books? Yeah, it is. It has um, plenty of um, similar information about it. You know, a lot of similar information. But there's plenty of unique information that is to be read in this book, for sure. And I'm not sure if I already said this or not, but just because this is a collector Wiccan book doesn't mean it doesn't go on traditional, it doesn't talk about traditional Wicca. Because it does go over um, shortly about um, uh, traditional Wicca. And also, um, you know, if you guys have read, um, have seen my past videos, you know I have a learning disability and a reading disability. So would I recommend this book to somebody who has a learning disability or a reading disability? Um, me personally, I wouldn't recommend you getting this book first. If you are somebody who has a learning disability or a reading disability and you wish to learn about Wicca, um, I would definitely recommend reading a Lisa Chamberlain book first. Um, then maybe work your way up to a Scott Cunningham book. But um, I wouldn't recommend this book to um, somebody who is has a disability and you want to read a read um a book about um Wicca, you know, because this this does have a um this is a little difficult to read. But um, since I've already read um a lot of um books on Wicca and witchcraft, this book wasn't really that hard for me to read since I've already read a couple other books on the subject. But if you don't have a learning disability or reading disability and you do want to get your first beginner book on Wicca, then yeah, I would get this, this book because it talks about a lot of information that, you know, is very important to Wicca and um, a lot of unique information that you can really only find in this book. And the way she puts things into words is just very amazing and very, I really enjoyed the way she puts things in the words. And also, all these sections in this book are pretty short. Like, these sections aren't very long at all. So, you know, there's not long chapters by any means. There are, you know, there are one part, two part, and three parts, and I think maybe a four part. But, um, it goes off into different, it's sectioned off into different parts. But each, um, each part has, um, different sections within the, that part, like, you know, divination or traditional worker or how to raise your frequency. All those sections are very short. So, you know, this book is going to be, um, very easy to read. But, um, I wouldn't, but like I said, I wouldn't recommend this book to, um, a, uh, beginner if you have a learning disability or a reading disability. But if you don't have one of those disabilities, I would definitely recommend this book to you. And now next, I will be doing a short sneak peek on the book. I'll show you some of the pages and the illustrations and um, what the book looks like. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And um, I hope you guys have a really good rest of the day. And um, blessed be. This is the sneak peek portion of the video. So first to start off with, this is the cover of the book like I showed you already. And like I already said, I have loved this cover so much. I love, love, love this cover. So whoever designed this cover for it did a very good job. Now I'll give you a uh, look at some of the pages. The glossary section is very nice. She has a very large glossary section, which I find really, really good to have. So if you can't, um, if you can't, if you don't, uh, if you don't have access to a computer very often or to the internet, this is very good because it has a lot of uh, terminology that is in witchcraft that you will find very helpful. And, what's, and another thing I really liked about this book, I really liked that she talked about dream work. Because dream work isn't something that's really important to learning about Wicca. But it's something that you can do within your practice. And I really liked that she didn't only incorporate Wicca stuff, but she also incorporated different things you can do within your practice. So I thought that was a really good idea. And it was just a really, I don't know, I just really, really, really liked that, that she did that. So that was a sneak peek of the book. So um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and blessed be.